And now just to add the finishing touches. So finally getting around to it. How I'm gonna set this up, we're gonna go over the office, productivity, whatever you wanna call it, set up first, and then move our way into the more fun stuff over here on the gaming side. If you have a particular section you wanna see, the timeline will be split into chapters, so you can slide around to whichever section you'd like. And as always, all the products will be listed down below. So if you're interested in anything, they should be down there. If I miss anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll drop whatever it is in there. And yeah, that's the intro, short and sweet. Let's get over to the office setup. So I don't know exactly what to call this setup. I guess you could just call it a productivity setup. Mainly what I use it for, just getting some light work done on my laptop. It's really easy to take apart. As you can see over here, that's a little time lapse of me breaking it down so I could do a little photo shoot I did for this knife right here, the Civivi Elementum. But otherwise, if I'm not shooting anything, then I usually sit here with my laptop and just kind of get some light editing done on Lightroom. Just a nice switch of pace from sitting at my main desk all day. So that's really the purpose of this setup. The desk is from Eureka Ergonomics. I had a video on that. I'll drop it up here in the corner. I really wanted something on wheels. So if I do need to roll this around the room, I can since I'm really cramped for space in here. On the desk itself, right now what I'm working with is a Microsoft Surface Go from, I believe, 2018. It's getting pretty old. It's kind of struggling to handle Lightroom right now so I am looking to upgrade to an iPad sometime soon I'm looking at the iPad Air 5 if you have any suggestions please let me know right now I'm just saving up for it because it is kind of a big purchase for something that I'm not gonna be mainly using to edit on so the top shelf over here I've got a picture frame I have yet to put a picture in it I'm trying to decide which one I want to get printed and throw in there next to that I've got this Edison light bulb looking thing I picked this up at home goods I don't remember how much it was it was pretty cheap though next to that I've got my Miros home oil diffuser this thing's really cool it actually connects to the Wi-Fi so I can use it with voice commands, which is really nice considering almost everything I have in this room I have connected to either a smart plug or it's smart home enabled. If you guys haven't switched over to smart plugs or smart home enabled stuff yet, I highly suggest doing it. It makes life so much easier. So moving underneath the shelf, I've got this Creative Stage Air V2. This is a speaker by Creative Labs. I really like their products. As you'll see over on my desk setup, I use their Pebble speakers. If you're on a budget, definitely check them out. I think that all of their audio equipment is probably the cheapest you can get for the best value out there. The nice thing about this is it is Bluetooth, so I can connect to it with my phone, with my laptop, with my computer, and I use it pretty often over here to listen to music. Next to that, I've got the iSwift Power Cloud. iSwift sent this out to me, uh, I wanna say about a year ago now, and this thing is a beast for charging up all my devices. I have everything in this corner of the room plugged into it. This is a phone stand from a company called Lamiso. They sent this out to me a couple months ago and I really like it. To be honest, at first I didn't think I would use it as much as I do, but I really do use this thing a lot. Aside from the oil diffuser from Miro's Home, I usually also have a candle and some incense. And it just depends on what I feel like for the day. I just like keeping the options open. For my desk pad, this is just a cheap felt desk pad from Amazon. And last but not least, hanging off the desk, these are the creative headphones that I was talking about earlier. The headset holder that they're hanging on is also from that company Lamisil that made the tablet slash phone stand. Another thing that I honestly really didn't think was that big of a deal until I had one. Next to the desk, I have this ladder also picked up from Home Goods. If you want to take a look at the stuff I got for this area, I'll drop the link to the video up above. I filmed the whole setup and makeover of this side of the room. So that's everything over here. Let's head over to the main setup. Now, before moving along any further, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Uni Accessories. Uni makes some really great products from card readers to USB hubs to cable adapters, all of which are very functional and very reasonably priced. As you know, I'm all about budget on this channel, so I was really excited when I looked at their website. Not only were their products functional and sleek, but they were also great for a budget. Recently, I got their USB and micro SD card reader. It was much cheaper than the card reader I was using before this. And what I really liked about this was not just its sleek and minimal design, I can throw this in my pocket, throw it in my bag, whereas the other one was a little bit bigger, but it also has USB-C on one side and USB on the other. So I can plug this into my computer and then take it out with my card still in it and plug it right into my laptop if I need to. But Uni has tons of accessories revolving around tech. So if you need a USB-C hub, a cable adapter, a card reader, I highly suggest checking out Uni. Their link will be in the description below. And thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video. Now over to the desk setup.
All right, so a little bit better audio over here. What you heard over there was the Rode Video Micro. I just picked that up the other day, so I'm still pretty new with it. I don't think it sounds horrible, but you guys let me know in the comments. Obviously, this is gonna sound a lot better, which I guess will bring me into the first thing on this setup, the Elgato Wave 3. If you're looking for a good microphone for streaming, I highly suggest this microphone. The Wavelink software that it comes with is absolutely amazing. It allows you to adjust your audio levels essentially like you have an XLR, but it's digital. If you're looking at one of the Wave microphones between the Wave 1 and Wave 3, I would go with the Wave 1, to be honest. It's only 100 bucks, and the internals are basically the same. There's a little bit of a difference, but I don't think you're going to notice that big of a difference in sound quality. You still get that Wavelink software. The only thing you really miss out on is the button and the mute button on top, which, to be honest, I don't use either that often. Sunny, don't bite the cord. This is Sunny. She's our new cat, and I'm trying to teach her not to bite cords. Let's try this again. Moving on from the microphone, next to that is my vertical monitor. I use this from anything from having music up, YouTube tutorials. I get a lot of questions about the stand that it's on. It's just the stand that it comes with. It's the Asus VG279Q. Why do monitor names have to be so difficult and long? I got this at Best Buy two years ago now on Black Friday. It was normally 300. I got it for two. Worked great for a while, but eventually I wanted to upgrade to an ultra wide, which we will move on to now. This is mounted on just a regular desk mount. Quite frankly, I don't remember the exact numbers that come after this, but it is an LG 34 inch ultra wide. I'll drop the actual name down here. It's really nice for gaming. It's 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. On top of that monitor, I have a cheap light bar from Amazon. On the back of the monitor, I have Govi behind monitor lights. These will run you about $15. I actually included these on my series, Underrated Tech, that I'm doing on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts right now. Because if you're gonna buy any RGB lighting for your setup, definitely go with behind monitor lights because they serve an actual purpose. Underneath the monitor, as we've already talked about, those are the Creative Pebble V2 speakers. They make these in black and white, and they're ridiculously cheap for how great they sound. Directly underneath the monitor, my Amazon Eco Dot. If you're looking to get into smart home tech, Technology. This is the one I would go with. When I got it, there was a promotion going on that when you sign up for Amazon Music, you get one of these for a dollar. So net price for this thing was $6. Above the monitor is my Govi Glide Lights. As you'll notice, every RGB product in my setup is from Govi. They're cheaper than Nanoleaf and Philips Hue. So I'm super happy with these guys. And the same goes for my under desk lighting. Those are also just light strips from Govi. All of them are smart home enabled. And on either sides of that, I have two shelves from Ikea. I believe they're called lack shelves. I just have a couple fake plants up here which not only do they look great, but they kind of act to hide the wires I have running up. On the left side, the wire runs up to my Davoom Pexo 64, and on the right side, it runs up to my controller charger from Razer. So that's a quick little hack if you're looking for an easy way to hide wires that run up a wall. And then bookending the setup on the walls, I have my pegboards. These are also from Ikea. I don't know the name, but you can look up pegboards from Ikea. I'm sure they'll pop up on Google. Hanging on the left one, as I mentioned, is my Davoom Pixio 64 art display. Underneath that, I have my headphones hanging and my controller, which is mounted by by the floating grip controller mount. The headphones I use at the PC are the Razer Kraken X in white. They're pretty cheap, they get the job done. There's nothing crazy about them. Mine are actually getting pretty old, so I'm looking for a new set of headphones eventually. The nice thing about the Elgato Wave mic is these actually plug right into the back of it right here. And on the right side pegboard that you see behind me here, I've got my Razer Huntsman Mini hanging. I don't recommend buying this keyboard only because there has been some software issues with it. They're very rare, but I did experience these. It took me a while to find the bug fix because it's not within a software update, which I thought was weird. You have to download a separate bug fix, which felt kind of hidden on the Razer website. And once I did do that, it still didn't fix the problem I was having. So what I ended up going with is my current keyboard, which is the Keychron K2. I custom painted this white, threw on some Razer Phantom keycaps, and I love the way it looks. But above that Huntsman Mini, I've just got some spare keycaps and some fake plants. Moving along to below that pegboard, we have the PlayStation 5. I really enjoy gaming on this thing. I use it for single player games. My PC is more for multiplayer competitive gaming. I have it plugged right into my ultra wide, which most newer PlayStation 5 games do have support for ultra wides. I'm really looking forward to playing Hogwarts Legacy on here as well as the new God of War. My favorite game for that so far has been Spider-Man Miles Morales. So next to the PlayStation is my PC. I'm going to list all the specs on the screen here and it gets the job done for what I need. I don't really feel a need to upgrade to be honest. Moving along to the desk. This is a Lag Captain desktop from Ikea in white. It is 72 inches and two feet deep. Originally, I didn't plan having this on Alex 
drawers. I got super lucky and when I went to Ikea to pick up the extra pegboards actually, I always check the used and discounted section and these two Alex drawers in white were in that section and I got them for like 35% off each. And I feel like it really brought the setup all together because I've always wanted the Alex drawers, but they are pretty expensive. So if you have an Ikea near you, I definitely suggest taking the drive there and looking in their used section before you buy anything offline from them. The desk pad up here is from Key Cadets. It's different from my last Key Cadets desk pad. The mouse I'm currently rocking is the Razer Viper Ultimate Mercury Edition. Considering the price is so high on the Razer Viper Ultimate V2, this is my end game mouse right now. And that's going to be it for the full room tour, guys. Again, thank you immensely for stopping by. I really appreciate y'all being interested in watching the channel. If I missed anything, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll direct you towards whatever that thing is. And that's it for today. Thanks again, guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Peace. Classic.